This right here is the lung point. This is the gallbladder position. I feel like 85%, you know, about, you know, actually better or normal. And that's incredible to me. Hey ladies, Paige here at the Hollywood Healing Center in Hollywood, Florida. Today I'm gonna learn about a variety of methods being used to improve your overall health. These include reflexology, acupressure, and magnetism. Let's check it out. Reflexology is an alternative medicine which involves applying pressure to different parts of the body known as zones. It is used to detect and treat a host of conditions. The feet are one major area of focus. So what I'm doing is I'm actually working these two areas together to see if there's any contaminant built up in there. This contaminant includes uric acid, calcification clusters, or oxidate that can build up in your lymphatic system. Antibiotics are just one example. We're very much big on the prescriptions and what's, you know, common, you know, in, in our medical books. But really when we look at other cultures, they do use pressure points to take pain up. The feet are connected to the heart and the brain, and so the more you balance in the feet and reduce toxins and understand the relevance, um, the better you can be. Lisa Reiser is a patient of Edie's and is being treated for an autoimmune disorder, which she says has adversely affected her movement and balance. So it's been um, three months and I feel much better. I've had incredible clinical um, results, you know, coming from within, as well as tapered off on all of my um, steroids, which is very good. So when I first came here and Randy touched my feet, and I didn't tell him anything about my condition. I didn't tell him that my left shoulder was so tense and immobile and my lack of mobility was terrible on my left side. I could feel from the right foot um, an actual sensation in my left shoulder. So I was amazed by that. Magnetic energy therapy was also used to relax Lisa's body by both the use of magnets and by sitting inside of a very low level electromagnetic field created by a resonator. Well the resonator is really subtle. These little electromagnetic field waves are coming in and they're actually working between the space in the molecules of the atoms of the nerves. Acupressure is a technique involving the manipulation of needles, or in this case, a cobblestone walking path to stimulate and heal different parts of the body through the feet. This comes from a very well-established medical study about paths in China and in Korea and in Japan. When she first tried using the walking path, Lisa says she could hardly walk because her body was so unstable. But now I can like feel the benefit, I think, of the stones a lot more. When you go for a massage, even for example, a lot of times after massage you feel, wow, my stress is gone, or wow, you hear your stomach gurgling because your digestive tract is moving. So clearly we do know enough that even someone who's not a real believer can see from those little bits when you relax what happens to your body, how much better you feel. So I don't know about you, but I found it highly inspirational to meet a woman today who's used a handful of homeopathic remedies to treat her own condition. I think I might give some of this stuff a try myself. For KTV, I'm Paige Presky. Remember to connect with us.